Hello everyone and welcome back to the Lucy Power Perspective. I have another really exciting episode for you today. It seems like every episode is really exciting. That's just because I really love my life and I do exciting things and I think it's great. Today, the family and I are heading up to Gainesville, which is about a two hour drive north of Orlando to watch our first college football game. Go the Gators. Yeah, that's who we've decided to support. So. I better get ready so we can go on our road trip. Yeah. I love using this Nude by Nature Sheer Glow BB Cream for everyday use if I'm not doing a major shoot. It's just, it has a little bit of a funny smell, but it's very natural. I'm going to use that today because we're not leaving for another few hours. There is no point in me putting on my base sun cream because it just won't be working by the time we leave. So I'll put sun cream on top later. Or oh, I need to order some more on Amazon. Get on to it. Don't do anything that I wouldn't do. And when you're making money, make sure you don't spend it too soon. That I'll do what I want to do. I got a different. And this, I discovered this a few months ago and I really love it. Super Stay Active Wear Concealer by Maybelline. Right, yeah. So, it's a little bit too much. I wouldn't normally put that much on. Oh my goodness, I have to blend that right down. Yeah, be. And I don't think you have a clue. What could that be? They tell me. And then, this Maybelline. Maybelline's great for me. Fit me powder. It's matte. I'll be saying that. All the negativity, man, I'm immune. I don't really need a mask with all I've been through. I've been making changes for the ages. Five, ten year plans are contagious. I attack that shit, I'm tenacious. It's not even, but my face isn't even. So it's. Mm. Right it, I will fight until I get it. I'll look back one day from heaven and say, damn, I learned some lessons. And say, damn, I have no questions. I had fun in every second, and the journey was a blessing, yeah. They tell me that I'm never gonna make I found these on Amazon, the Infallible Precision Felt Eyeliner. One thing I didn't like about it initially is that the felt tip is quite long and flexible, so you just gotta have good control of it. Wing one with a little bit of a mistake in the middle there. I slipped, so let's clean it up. Holding my breath.
face is pretty much done. I'm keeping it simple. <laughs> no, it's clearly not simple, but I don't have a lot of heavy makeup on my face because we'll be outside, we'll be driving, I'm gonna get sweaty. Um, just on heavy eye makeup just to go in line with the colors of the gators. And now I still have to moisturize my body. And um, this is my favorite stuff, which I also got from Amazon. It is the Soothing Lotion by Suave, but I just absolutely love this scent. What is it? I can't even see it. Aloe and cucumber extracts. It's just a basic body, uh, body moisturizer, but it feels so good. And it works. It smells beautiful. It keeps my skin hydrated. And I'm hoping to get a Gators cap at the stadium. Fingers crossed. Still undecided as to the shorts. Because they're a little bit short. And they may annoy me. Now, I could wear it in like a little cute little knot like that. I'm just being mum today, so let's not embarrass the girls by showing my midriff. Okay, I'm gonna keep getting ready and then report back to you guys soon. Bye. Okay, so the first thing I do is I open up Google Maps and I type in our destination, which is the Ben Hill Griffin Stadium. As you can see here, it looks like it's gonna take an hour and 53 minutes, but it did only take us an hour and a half. Thank God for that. And it was quite a smooth drive. We were actually going to go to the Swamp restaurant to have a meal before the game. But when we arrived, as you can see, it was packed with young people and it was more of a sports bar. So we decided against it. <laughs> University of Florida campus. It's actually one of the nicest campuses I've ever seen and the stadium is on the campus. It's a huge campus so enjoy the view. this awesome thing called tailgating that they do in Florida. And it is everyone gets together before the game and they set up these tents and you, you play games and you eat and you drink a few hours or maybe the whole day, I'm not sure, before the actual game itself. And um, it's not just about the tents. Some people will do it out the back of their car, in the car park. They take their little portable barbecues or they call them grills here and uh, just have a wild time. It was epic. People were doing this all through the university and in car parks throughout the university as well. I'd love to try that one day.
my god, here comes the marching band. This is exciting. <laughs> Almost there, I promise. So I just had my very first frustrating as hell moment. Caught an Uber about 15 minutes away from the stadium, walked to the stadium, go to check in my bag, and I'm not allowed to have this bag in the stadium because it's not clear and it's too big. We have to go for another walk to get an Uber back to the hotel to pack it up and then get an Uber all the way back. This is ridiculous. And the fact that they don't have an option to empty your bag out or a locker or anything like that is dumb. It just put me in a bad mood. It's pissed me off so much because the effort and the money it's going to cost to get an Uber back to the um, hotel and then come back here, it's just a pain in the ass. So, but we have to do it or else we can't go in. The booing was so intense for the opposing team, poor guys. And of course we have the American National Anthem.
No. <laughs> so the game is over. Gators kicked ass against who are they playing? McNeese Cowboys. McNeese against the McNeese Cowboys, and uh, it was an incredible experience. Our first college football game. I'm actually really impressed. One of the most impressive things was the marching band. Like the coordination it takes for all those people. There were, how many How many people in that band do you reckon there were? There, there would have been at least a couple of hundred members of the marching band and the, the colored girls. To be able to coordinate all that's really impressive and they did such a good job. They did not miss a beat. It was incredible. Loved it, absolutely loved it. And I cannot wait for my next game. Go Gators. Yeah.